Well, we're coming up on another complicated star heart and more classic Kirby music. Now, this is ability and friend specific, basically, is what I'm going to call it. Uh, you actually have to switch friends several times, but fortunately you only need one ability. That ability is going to be fire, and surprisingly, despite the fact that I say that you're switching friends a lot, you're only using two friends. You're using um, Ku and Choo Choo for this stage. So just keep that in mind, that's who you're looking for. And a pep drink. Uh, I can't remember, do I? Oh. Oh, it's in this room, okay. Go ahead and get fire. What we actually want to do is go to the left. Collect coup and continue on. Uh, <laughs> this is actually going to be long because we're in the third room. We actually need to make it to the eighth room, which is very near the end. So this is room four. Ah, that, I was not aiming to go that direction. Whatever. Hopefully there is something to get some life. Take advantage of invincibility frames whenever they are presented to you. Oh, that one... dang. Okay. So I'm going to let these fall because the invincibility frames doesn't... frames does not get us all the way across. But this should be the room right here that we're concerned with. Watch me be wrong. These guys are evil. Well, some more health. That's good. Okay. Rats. You know, I should learn my lesson. Remember, kid. Remember, kids, learn your lesson and don't repeat the same mistake three billion times like I do. Okay, there's nothing past there. I... Okay, this room you're actually going to be switching between two of your buddies. Uh... That's fun. I think I've forgotten how to do something here. Well, hopefully I didn't miss anything, because I cannot quite remember exactly which direction to go here. There's what you want. Uh-oh. I missed it. Wonderful. Because this is going to continue onward. Yep. Whoa. And there's no need to get the... Yeah, I missed it. Because what you want is up there, and... Oh, oh, oh. 
Well, I think I'm gonna be ha ha da da I'm gonna have to replay this stage until I... Really? I don't get why that... Really? I am... Brilliant. That works. And the uh, strange thing at the end is not going to be happy. I'm going to uh, get back to that room and uh, record my successful and record my successful attempt. So pardon me while I uh, try this again. Well, I reviewed my notes, and what you actually need to do is get to a very specific room in this area that I completely passed over, which is this room right here. And then, at the bottom here, you will find what you need, which is the ability to switch between Ku and Chu. And you need to do this. You'll you'll be doing this a lot, so get ready. Uh, basically, what we need to do in here is get to the final door. is this one. Uh, hmm. I think I'll actually go ahead and keep uh, Koo for this particular level. And what you're doing is very simple. Collecting this finally. Now, pardon me, I'm going to cut to the end. And with that, we return... Right, he's a snail. I kind of forgot that he was a snail. <laughs> so, now we have this. Uh, let's see if I can aim towards the middle at all. Got what I wanted. Anyway, with this, we have unlocked the next stage, which requires you to have Nago. Now, if you'll pardon me for a moment, I've actually got to go find Nago because he is not available in this state. So just one moment and I'll cut to here with Nago. And we collected Nago. Now remember, 3-6 is a great area to get any ability or buddy that you want to get. And I decided to go with uh, Spark, obviously. Uh, maybe that was not a good... Well, eh. bad timing. I'm going to... I think I'll go with that. It has a pretty decent range. Now, oh! Urgh. Now, fortunately, this has a very simple objective. It is very simply to get to the end of the stage. You just have to have, uh... a buddy who is not available in this stage. Oh. I kind of, I really do, I rather like the, mm, rats. Okay, a bit of timing there. Now remember, uh, I did say, I believe in the first episode, that Nago was the only character that I had seen that I liked with the, uh, um... Uh, umbre umbrella parasol ability because he uses it like a pogo stick. Oh, wonderful. I'm not going to bother with those. However, health is not a bad idea. 
Rats. Uh, okay, that's actually... Mm. Oh, well. And I think believe that's the halfway mark. Oh, okay. Of course, one of them had to be out of sync with the others, didn't it? Ah. And of course, you can only target one at a time because that little... <laughs> well, that was accidental perfect timing right at the end there. More of these pig things. Fortunately, as long as you don't make the mistake of trying to absorb them, they're okay. Haha, <laughs> Pete. Surprisingly, I don't really like Nago with Freeze. Okay. Uh, real out. And that's primarily because of how he uses it. And, uh... Okay, so how are you supposed to get that? Because the arrow guy didn't... Well, at least I got a 1-up. <laughs> More of those spider things. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Bunch of enemies with the spark ability. Stone? Huh. No, that's ice. Mm. Fortunately, it's very easy to get up there. That's just the way I wanted to go to avoid any potential death. And yes, literally, they give you every a chance to get everybody except for Nago in this stage. Oh. There's got to be a way to destroy those blocks. I just don't know what it is. Oh, that's obvious. Uh, really, you can't destroy them until after they turn into... A monster from a door. I didn't know that. I thought you could destroy them at any time. Just avoid all those witches. And this kind of room again. Uh Actually I believe in this one they're all they're all real. Yep, I was right. Eh, not worth it. Really? How much more is there? I'm really beginning to wonder how much more there is. Oh, there's going to be a trap. Yep. Those enemies were perfectly, perfectly planned. Oh, wonderful. Uh, fortunately, they give you a lot, a mm, lot of health towards the end. So that, uh. Well, at least you're invincible when you're being shot around, because then you don't have to deal with those little puffball things, which are annoying. Oh, good. Hello, ghost kitty. No, seriously, I think it looks like a ghost. Okay, um... Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, and with the... Last star heart coming up. We have to collect feathers, I believe, for.
for the angel here. Oh, lovely. Okay, please tell me that I'm not the only one who thinks this sounds like something that uh, would come out of the Mother series. Uh, uh, ooh, uh... I don't think you need a specific buddy. Um... They give you... Oh! Okay, that... More health, more lives is always good. Um... I'm gonna be boring, keep going up the center. That's a fake door, yep. I believe there's only one real door then. I'm going to double check, but I'm pretty sure there's only one real door. Yep. So, what you need to do here is make sure you... Uh... You collect the copy ability. Be in each room. I'm going to go ahead and let go of that copy ability because... And there's going to be a copy ability boss. Okay. You want to make sure to get... Each of... You want to be make sure to collect these guys. Because you do need them. And fortunately, it shouldn't matter which buddy you have. Come on. Now, I do not like stone for most bosses. Or most... Yeah. Oh, lovely. Well, at least uh, we have the best character to use this ability. Come on, shoot... Oh, rats. Come on. Um, aren't you gonna? Weird. No? Huh. There we go, finally. Making me starting to doubt that you will shoot, uh, rats. Surprisingly, the parasol copy boss is the hardest. And I will continue to say it is the... Oh. Oh, come on. Easily the worst ability in the game. With only one of your partners giving it a really good chance to shine. This is making me want to have kept a stone. So, rats! So I guess uh, advice for this mini boss is to keep ah rats come on St is to keep stone or keep or have an ability what he has one more hit left okay I thought that would be the last one. So I went in for the, uh, absorb. Dang it. <laughs> oh. Why does the hardest copy, abil copy boss have to be the weakest ability? Okay. Okay, now you're doing a reasonable pattern. Okay, that's... And again, a pattern without... This is a really unreasonable copy ability, copy boss.
because he really does not give you the opportunity to hit him very often. Which I guess should be the strategy of every rat. Not. I was actually testing to see if I could slide, and I can. Okay. Duly noted. Come on. Finally! Well. Okay, what do we have next? The Abominable Snowman. Really? Well, at least that was easy. <laughs> I st it's uh, it really is unbelievable that the hardest one hardest copyability boss was okay was the parasol. I mean, seriously, that is insane. He full health, but eh, may as well. Okay, this should be yep. Yeah. room now. Also, I really do think that um, my favorite design for the copyability bosses is Parasol, despite not liking how that boss fights. I really think that that is a cheap fight. Okay, this is a uh, repetitive pattern here. Oops. I say that, and what do I do? I miss. But at least I'm able to dodge! Really? And another feather. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, this guy. Um, can you hit him while he has spikes? I think I've already answered this question. Rats. Uh... This boss is a little bit, uh difficult to fight as well because it doesn't seem to have it. Right there. I thought he was going to charge and what does he do? Do he throws. Come on. Good. I was worried that Kirby wasn't going to do anything there for a second. Come on. I don't want to... Oh. We are at the end. And we got the... Notation that you have done well and completed things. And with that, let's try for... Yeah, okay, sure. Stars that I didn't want to collect. I wanted the, either the Mighty Meadow or the 1-Up. 